Okay, guys. Everybody liked the quickie port better because it had better, a nice fat flow curve and actually topped out a touch better than the, uh, the fin port. I think the only person that didn't like the quickie port was me. But then again, I, I could hear it on the, the bench. It didn't sound as good. It did not, it had more of a, uh, a noisier sound. Now, I've heard that, you know, don't sweat, don't sweat a noisy port because that, that high Reynolds number flow you're getting is breaking up the fuel. I'm sure that has some validity, but I think there's also some validity to having a lower Reynolds number, less fully turbulent port as far as cylinder fill goes. So what I decided to do was take the quickie port and do a little work to it. Since it had a very tight bowl ratio with a 50, I said there's got to be there's got to be either flow to gain or a better sounding port if I change the bowl ratio a little bit. Now from this angle right here you can see there's our Notice how deep that third cut is on our fin port. And it's been it's been shortened up a little bit on the quickie port because I opened up the bowl ratio. And I also made the bowl a little bit wider further on. Now I've heard where guys have guys have said, you know, oh I can't believe he cut such giant bowls into that. They're not giant, believe me. In fact, they're quite tight. Yeah, I wrote down some quick numbers. Yeah, right under was uh, the original diameter across was 1.658. That was an 88%. If that's where you consider your throat, then that's what that is, 88% throat. The new one is 1.7, which is a 90.4% throat, if that's where you get your throat from. Now, further down the port, the, the original was 1.565, and then it's moved up only 30 thousandths to 1.587. Now, I'm trying to keep these thick. I don't want to just make them eggshells. It's, it's not, not what I'm trying to do. So, if you get your throat through those numbers, they're obviously quite tight, uh, quite a bit tighter. Now, the real question is, did you gain any flows from last time you guys seen them? I, I, there's a couple of cuts you guys aren't going to get to see. But I will show you from the last cut to this cut. Okay, this is the last time you guys saw them. I ran this one through the program. Plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. It's actually got one little minus. Two, it only went 247 instead of 247.7 at 480, and it still lost it in the same spot, even though the bowl has been changed, and it has had a little bit of work on the short side radius because of the super high speed in the middle of the short side radius. I wanted to knock that back a little bit. Plus, plus, plus. Okay. How do we do on the swirl? Plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, 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 minus, minus. It's a hit or miss. Then I decided to, oh, well, I did my speeds. And my speeds are actually better. They're better everywhere than last time you saw them, okay? These speeds are at a different depression. So we might as well go over these. I decided because it had that that problem at uh, 480. What would happen if I cranked the bench up to 35? Now the reason I cranked it to 35 is my nominal goes to 36. It's a touch over full, so 35 is really about 35 and a quarter on my manometer. I don't want the oil to pour out the top, so that's about where I'm going to top it out to. I have pushed it to 36, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that anymore, I don't think. Okay, 
Now, I have Wallace written here because Wallace, uh, if you type in Wallace Automotive Calculators, he's got some great uh, calculators. And what he has is uh, you take your flow and you change, you change, you put in your flow at 28, okay? So this one will be 230. And then you change it to 35, and it should read 257.15. Well, I've got 257.2, so I'm going to say it's close enough, right? Okay, two, actually, it's not 247, because at 500, it's 232. 232, I measured 261.4. It says it should calculate 259.38. Pretty close. 234 here. I got 260.7. It said it should read 261.62. 234. I got 261.4. It said it should measure 261.6. So as far as I'm concerned, it's doing well that way. It was also quieter at the higher depressions. So it was worth my effort. Okay? Because in reality, the depressions that a running engine is going to see way more than 28. That's why a lot of the really good guys have massive benches that can pull 100 inches or 120 inches. What is nice though is you can I mean you could you can do this all with a SF110 and do it at 7 inches of uh, of water and calculate it up because it should work. In any case, the uh, the blue you're seeing was actually taken at 500 lift, 35 inches, which is 257.2 CFM. And our fuel spray, fuel spray, our Dicom spray looks damn good. Looks damn good on the valve. All right, look at around that periphery of the valve. It looks really good, right? And let me get you guys some extra light. Really, really looks about the same as it does at 28. So I'm good with all fuel or Dicom spray. Okay, we've got Dicom halfway down the port. Last time you've seen this, it's had uh, the pinch open a little bit more. It's a little bit taller because I had a gasket and I knew how far I could push it. It's actually a touch taller on the roof than the gasket. Now, when I get the intake manifold, it should come this week, I'll know a lot more what I have to do with this. But as of right now, this is looking pretty good. I feel better that I got the sound a little better. Even though the flow didn't really change a lot, yeah, I got a little more meat in the middle of the curve, but nothing, nothing drastic. In any case, it depends how horrendous this, uh, this dual plane is. And somebody uh, had a problem with me using a throttle body injection throttle body to uh, put on top of the dual plane. Now, a G, I have a completely stock GM 350 throttle body injection, which flows about 350 CFM. Now, DV and Andy flowed that little tiny carburetor, and I think it was about 250 CFM. Andy's going to work his magic. He's going to get some more flow out of it. So I'm thinking that 350 isn't, isn't really bad to base my, you know, do my baseline as. Uh, I've seen pictures of the intake. I'm still thinking it's going to knock this port down to about 180. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out.
Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to leave you there as I was fiddling with the head. My pause button on this phone does not work great. It's, it's screwed me up a couple times. All right, you can see... You can see that it doesn't have nearly as much overhang as it used to have. Now, where exactly does it measure out? I did a, I did a drawing of this. Let me dig that out for you guys. Sorry, guys. This pause button has gotten me more than once. Okay. You can see not nearly as much overhang on this port as there was. The short side radius actually looks better because it's a little taller from opening up the, uh, the throat ratio a little bit. And the port seems to have liked it, especially at the higher, uh, higher flows. Now, these drawings are not even close to scale, and the measurements are slightly different than what I showed you before. But if you measure right under your first cut, we have a 92% throat on our intakes. If you measure towards the smallest part of the bowl, it's 83.9, which is still tight. Um, I don't think I'd go be able to go much more because the port's getting thin on the bowl area. But that's an answer to the to whoever was saying that I cut giant balls in these things. You can't cut giant balls in these. They're tiny ports. Okay, the exhaust. Now remember, the exhaust is a 50, goes into a radius. So if I measure right under my 50, I get 1.469. And then it goes through the radius and it necks down to 1.318. So if you measure from the top, it's 93.5. You measure from the narrowest point, it's 83.9. Give me your input on which method we get we should all use so we can talk to each other and have an idea where the other guy's throat is. As of right now, I don't have an answer for that. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'm looking forward to getting the uh, the dual the dual plane this week, and uh, we'll see how bad that is, and I can work from there on up. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out.